Good morning, Keepers, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper and uh, to Envy Day. So we're probably not going to be doing too much today, then, as a result of that. We need a few days to pass before we can really get down to some serious business. But uh, in the meanwhile, I suppose we may as well uh, continue our work in the graveyard. I suspect that that is probably the main thing that we can do at the moment while we're waiting to progress the story a little bit. Uh, do I actually have... Uh, I've got some red wine on me. Maybe. Maybe. We'll keep the red wine there just for its healing properties. Right. Well... That being said, then, let's have a look at what we can make. I really wa do wish there was a way to, that I could speedily make this, but uh, apparently that is not going to be a thing that's transpiring, which is much much a sadness. Uh, all right, looks like we need to make a bunch of polished stone, then. Again, it would really be nice if there was a faster way to make this. If for no other reason, then it would stop me having to scroll down to get the... Polished block. If it would remember what I was last trying to work on, it would be nice, but oh well. There we go. Now, actually, I should probably pop something on to cook, thinking about it. Uh, maybe some more uh, baked pumpkin, I'm thinking. Either that or some cake. One or t'other would do right now. Let's uh, start gobbling down a bunch of cider while we can. There we go. We're going to want a healthy amount of marble for everything that we're going to be working on, so we might as well get that done right now. The other thing I would like to do when thinking about that, let's go ahead and pop the chisel back. We'll grab some of the marble blocks. Let's grab, uh, let's grab 10 of them for now. I forget exactly how much we're going to need for what I would like to do, so let's err on the side of caution for the time being. Uh, I could do with speed potion, so sure, let's go ahead with that. Now... Do we have enough for cakes? We don't, but I could probably get what I need for cakes, so I might as well. Uh, yes, we can. Excellent. I'll grab all of this then. There we go. Grab you as well. And finally you. Okay, not too bad so far. Now, unfortunately, everything that we really want to do to progress our quest sorry, is at the end of the week. We want to talk to Mr. Charm. We want to talk to the astrologer. Well, after we've talked to Ms. Charm, we want to talk with the bishop about the aristocrat papers. Everything seems to be over there, so we're going to have a little bit of a wait, unfortunately. Ooh, really? We've run out of... Wow. All right. I'm a little bit shocked by that. Perhaps, then, we're going to need to go for another trip to the coal mines. Ah, uh, well, you know, there's worse things for a Welshman to do, I suppose. But uh, that is a little bit of a problem for us. Uh, still, we've got plenty of time to uh, play around right now. So, lie injection has been complete. It's time to move on to the silver injection. Let's get you crafting. And I wouldn't at all mind some extra corpses. Thanks to our dear old comrade donkey. Let's go ahead and get that on the move. There we go. Now, of course, I could feed the uh, oven wood. Uh, I'm not, not too in the mood for that one, though. Now, where is the marble flagstone? There we go. What I would like, marble flagstones, right there, and indeed, right here. There we are, that's going to look particularly nice. Now, what do I need for the lantern? Two glass, four stone, and four simple iron parts, and I want two of them. I think there may be enough glass down in the, um, down below in the cellar. We may have to have a look into that, though. That being said, um, sure, actually, as the main thing that I want right now is going to be coal, let's get that going, shall we? I think it would be a worthwhile thing to do. So, let's use this and head over to uh, the quarry. And there we are. And we can pick up some, well, we can just grab some coal, I suppose, but uh, I'll just get a little bit of um, lasagna to use for now. Use it. Unfortunately, it was a little bit late for my slow metabolism, but that's fine. We'll get a bunch of coal here, and in fact, some sulfur as well. Um, we'll get a, a couple of other things beside the coal, though it's very uncommon for us to, to see anything like gold or silver. I'm fairly certain you have to get that from 
uh, iron or rock. I don't think you get it from coal bearing rocks or coal seams rather. But I could be uh, could be mistaken. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna work all the way through what remains of the uh, the hard work buff. And then hopefully we're gonna head back with a armful, or rather several armfuls worth of coal that I will then use to load up the oven and uh, the furnaces a little bit more as well. So I shall see you in a few moments. Okay, there we go. I'm just getting the last couple of hits in before the buff wears off. I've got enough limestone to build several ships, then sink them, then dredge up the limestone carcasses from the deep and build several more ships out of the limestone that we salvage. Uh, when I, I really don't think we're going to be using all of this. That being said, I may as well take some of it back with me. Um, we'll also grab, well, I'll leave, say, 150 coal here. We'll grab a stack of limestone and some sulfur, and we'll take all of this back with us for alchemy purposes. With that, though, let's, uh, it's not quite ready yet. Okay, well, we can always wander back. Maybe, well, no, there's no point in get, getting any uh, bees either because I haven't got the inventory room for it. That's a bit of a potch, but oh, well, I don't, I'm not going to worry too much about that one. We'll actually get back due to our speed boost before the recharge is up on our, uh, on our portal stone. So there we are. And down we go. There we are. Perfect. I wouldn't mind gathering some more bees, but at this late stage, I'm not actually certain that we're going to need them. I don't think there's anything that we're going to be able to make use of at this point. All right, let's go ahead and load you up with a stupid amount of coal. Uh, let's go ahead and pop 300 coal in here. That should do us for pretty much the remainder of the game. And we'll drop off the, the remaining coal. Well... Actually, sure, we'll pop in 150 in each one. It's not like we, it's very hard for us to go and get more coal, is it? So we might as well use it up when I've got it with me. There we are. You as well. Oh, damn it. You as well. And I will be dropping off the um, limestone and sulfur into the alchemical laboratory soon enough. But for now, let's just get four cakes on the go. Right, so with that, uh, we are going to want some simple metal parts. Have we got any? Got 21. That'll do. We've also got some glass. That'll also do. Uh, drop those off for now. Okay. And off we go. Now, have I got anything down here I need to pick up? Yes, I do. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more beer crafting as well. There's no particular point to be carrying that beer around with me, though. We'll leave it there. There we are. Right, what have we got over here? I'm I'm in, in no particular hurry to do anything with the Inquisitor, but I guess uh, I might as well use it if I can. Uh, let's drop off all of these. In fact, we had a bunch of this stuff here as well. Did we ha not have any glass? Oh, we didn't. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Well, looks like we're going to be needing to make some more glass then. Ah, uh, of course, I did use some on the... Um, do I have enough for it? Ah, I forgot the stones. Well, that's annoying. But I did use some on the windows. Oh, it's no longer laggy. Oh, that's a great improvement. Well done. I am very, very pleased with that. Very pleased indeed. Uh, let me go and grab some stone. I do believe we've got several stone blocks over here, so I, I can ferry a lot of this around. I'll just move 30 of it, though. For now, that's all we should need. And with that, we'll be able to set up two lanterns, and that'll add to the decor of the graveyard quite considerably, I, I feel. Uh, let's go and make sure that our friend down here is glued up. Let's go ahead and get a glue injection as well. There we go. You're going to be ready for your burial very, very soon. So I'm going to have to make sure that you've got an adequate set of... Uh, um, Grave decorations ready for you as well. I bet I'll get some stone back from I did. <laughs> it only occurred to me just, just that at that moment. It's like, oh, wait, these were made of stone. I bet I'm going to get stone back. Ah, uh, well. Uh, not a biggie. All right, let's get... Ooh, it's a little bit laggy today, but I forgive you, game. There we are. Lovely. Very, very pretty indeed. Very pretty indeed. And it's brought us up to 442. In the graveyard. I could put lamps 
elsewhere, but uh, for the time being, I think we're good. Actually, whilst you're uh, being uh, embalmed, let me go ahead and drop some of these off. It doesn't look like I'm going to be needing them for a little while, so thank you very much, Comrade Donkey. I guess I'm going to go and do that one then first. Or at least put it into one of the freezer pallets. Thank you, Comrade Donkey. It's always, you've got to say thank you. Uh, are you done? No, you've got a little bit to go. All right, let's have a look at you then. It's not going to be a dark... Oh, I tell a lie. I tell a lie. Very well. I'll take this out. Well, no, 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 no. Do I have a burger? I might as well. You know, I made, went to the effort to make this food. Not using it is basically tantamount to to wasting it, in my opinion. And wasting all of the frogs that had to die in order to make it. Poor frogs. Uh, actually, with a body like this, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get it back. Well, you never know. We'll see how many how many white skulls we can get up to. There we go. Get the fat out as well, please. Now, removing the skull will just straight up give us a red skull to play with. That's giving us three white. Uh, no, that's giving us one of each, really. Um, so I could remove this, take away a suppressed skull, but I'm not going to be able to do too much with that. Um, I'll, I'll see where we can get it to, just for, for science, let's say. Let me drop these off. So, skull goes in there. Don't really have much use for it, really, but drop all of those off as well. I'm probably going to grind down one of those intestines. Now, you... First thing for you, I would like, is a lie potion. Let's add a... Oh. Hmm. It doesn't seem to have gotten the, the skull I was expecting, but alright. Uh, we can empty you. There we go. Comrade Donkey should have another another visitor for our morgue by morning. So let's go and drop you off. And I need to go and quickly prepare everything else needed. Actually, I can immediately place down the grave fence at the very least. Thankfully, I've made quite a lot of those already, so we should be good. There we go. Up to 449. Not bad. Now, some people in the comments have mentioned that they've actually managed to get their graveyards up to the, frankly, intimidating thousands of points. I suspect that if you were doing something like that, it might be... Well, not to put too fine a point on it, but you're probably playing just for the sake of playing at that point. And more power to you. If you're enjoying the game, carry on. Uh, but I don't think you would ever realistically need to get that far thinking about it. I, I don't I don't think you'd, you'd benefit from it. I need a better chisel. I need a silver quality chisel. Uh, let's have a look. There we go. Let's make one of these. There we are. That whole system is a little bit cumbersome, honestly, and it kind of, it stands out against all of the other ways that you, you make quality items. The system for making the chisels is a little bit of an odd one. In fact, there are a couple of things like that in the game, where it doesn't quite match the way everything else is done. Um, a system that, that, for all intents and purposes, should appear to work the same way, but just has some annoying little extra requirement. And quite often when I see that in games, I imagine that that's due to cut time on developing a more complex system. So you just kind of shoehorn it into uh, a previously created mechanic. And it never quite fits right. It's, it's like trying to shove an oval-shaped object through a circular hole. It's close enough, but there's little tells here and there that it, it was never really meant for that. There we go. And pop. Thank you. How many... Uh, two. That's just so annoying. So many copper statues that I just don't care for. I'm a bit sleepy, though, so we should probably go and have a rest thinking about it. Uh, sure, let's get in there. Also, my cake's ready. All right. Uh, can I get some more things? Sure, let's get some grape pies. May as well get through all of that grape. Uh, drop these off. There we are. And time... Well, do I have lentil? Deep sleep. Time for a snooze. You know what? Keeper... I run you ragged most of the time, so you're going to get a proper, full, 
days sleep this time. For like an hour. But shh, it's fine. At least you had it. Don't be so ungrateful. There we go. Right, with that done then, let's go ahead and turn these into beautiful, beautiful grave decorations. Now, which one do I particularly want? It doesn't really matter. I'll make two of each, really, I think. It'll be fine. And then we can alternate them a little bit. There we go. So much faith. And so much nothing to spend it on. Let me just double check. A couple of people were saying that it does appear that I have a few things to, to invest in. Oh, Shining of Faith. Yes, there we are. You were, in fact, correct. For some reason, I completely glossed over that one. Not really sure why. Because I looked in there several times, I thought. But apparently, no. But there we are. We now have every single thing that we can get in the game so far. Let's get uh, two of these marble sculptures as well. And then we'll make a bunch of the marble fences. Thank you. This is hard work, to be fair. Uh, right, let's get... Well, how much room have I got in my inventory? Plenty. Enough to use up all of the remaining polished stones that I've got. In fact, enough for all of the grave decorations I just made. So that all works out quite well, in my opinion. Quite, quite well. We're still not actually making full use of these, I don't think. We're just a little bit shy of actually uh, getting the, the full wallop out of all our grave decorations. But it's close enough, I think. Close enough for now, at the very least. Oh, there we are. Everything is awesome. It's fine. It's fine. It's official. Awesome. Everything. Stop making fun of my alarm. Everything is awesome. How do you think I, I remain chipper all this, all this time? It's because I, my alarms are like, oh my God, I'm late for something. It's like, everything is fine. It's like, oh, thank goodness. Oh, wait, I've got to do something. Shush. It works for me, damn it. Uh, right. Let's see. Well, that's only a four. So I think we're going to... Pop these ones down over here where it's going to get a little bit more bang for buck. Let's get you in. There we are. And yes, I totally could have popped the uh, the Reaper on the other side. And it would have made a little bit of a better... You know what? I'm going to do that. Damn it. That's way too good. Let's get you out of the way. Come on now. There we are. And in your place, a Reaper. Perfect. Life and death. And Columbrium's will be up at the top. It'll look beauteous, I tell you. Beauteous. Uh, let's pop these around wherever we can now then, I guess. There we are. Over here. Get another one. Glorious. We are now up to a solid 467. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, I'm going to start just putting these around just because I can. There we are. And then we'll gradually start replacing things. So I'll be honest, I've got a funny feeling that we're going to complete this game before we we get even remotely close to filling out all of the graveyards, uh, all of the gravestones, sorry, and properly uh, setting all of this up. But it's fine, it's fine. Uh, let's pop them down here as well. Again, I don't mind using it for now just to make the place look a little nicer, and I'll shuffle them around as needed later on. There we go. I'm tired again, though, which is a little bit of a shame, but okay. Uh, thank you very much, Comrade Donkey. Let's have a look at you then. Are you an evil corpse? <sighs> Everyone with the bad intestines. What on earth happened with all these people? Uh, have I got room in here? I don't actually have any room in here. Okay, well, I can make that work. It'll take me a little bit, but I can I can totally do it. Let's uh, gobble you down. There we are. What I need is something that'll that'll remove the the sleep uh, the sleepless debuff. Frankly, that's the sort of food that I need. Maybe something that involves tea. I mean, frankly, I need tea in this game anyway. It's very difficult resisting the urge to eat people when you have no dapperifying tea around. We don't even have coffee, though, so, I mean, uh, small mercies. I guess uh, you take the good with the bad with that, but still. Uh, no, we don't want to remove any of those. We'll take the skull out, though. And let's grab you. Pump. Now, first and foremost, let's add some lye. There we are. And we can drop up the skull. We'll drop up the blood, the bones, and the fat. I will just carry this with me. In fact, I'll take this one with me as well, because I'm, I'm going to be going and using them. Uh, you know what? I'm going to grab a bunch of these. I need to get them out of there. They're just taking up a load of room that I don't want them to take up. All right. 
So, first things first, let's get some more speed potions. There we go, and we'll top up with our cider as well. There we are. And another. There we go, perfect. Now, I do believe... Don't want to do the, the dark brain, no, no, no. We want to go through all of the regular brains, if we can. Just to make a little bit of room. Clear out those areas. I've not been doing this because I don't need to. We don't need the materials that we're going to get from it. But it'll help to, to free up my inventory space a little bit more. So it's worthwhile doing, I feel. There we are. And we'll have two after this. Then we need to go and grind down these dark intestines. Get whatever awesome powder comes out of that. Well, I'm fairly certain it's not awesome, but I'll promise you, if you're grinding intestines, nothing good is going to come from that, whether they're dark intestines or not. Bad times are in your future. But you're going to have to brave it for the uh, the pursuit of science. Uh, right, let's grab you. We just want the two that I'm carrying right now. There we go. Excellent. In fact, I could start working through the ridiculous amounts of other stuff I've got as well. I could work through the regular intestines realistically, couldn't I? Um, hmm. No, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about that for now. Damn it! Why the? Oh, fine, whatever. Uh, we'll get. I think that it's a regular heart somewhere. Yes, we'll get that one being used. And we can drop off this one. Okay. Um, let's go and take care of the embalming first. Right. Well, I mean, eight isn't great, but it's also not bad compared to a lot of the others that I've got. Um, hmm. I'm a little bit confused, but sure. We'll just try and do some glue now. Okay. Well, it is time, I think at last, for us to go and A, do a sermon. Oh, wait. Ah, now... Oh, so many people have asked after this. I, I'll showcase it in... Well, do I have a good enough item for it? Right, the pair for donations. I need a top tier item. Okay, here we go. So many people have asked after this. And I've mentioned it several times, but if we look, that gives Sermon money 150% plus 20% faith. This gives Sermon money 150% plus 150%. Sermon faith. Now, you notice that making the prayer for donations required a chapter. Making the combo prayer required a book of a high quality. And they are a lot harder to make. They're like three chapters, potentially. That's why I don't bother making just a basic donation blessing, even though I don't need faith anymore. The combo prayer is everything the donation prayer is, but more. So, you know, not using it is just grossly inefficient. I have the aristocrat papers. Thank you very much for the story. I had to sacrifice my entire family and ten years of my life to get mine. What? You, what? Yet you gain yours so simply. You truly are an extraordinary man. Uh, okay. Begin the ceremony? How did you sacrifice him? The keeper of the king's kitchen accepted the invitation. Great, then let us begin the ceremony. First, let us await our important guest. Oh yes, it was the merchant. Hello, brother. Hello. I'm here for the ceremony as the keeper of the king's kitchen. I'm assuming that when you said sacrifice, you meant just left behind then in that case. I have, I just, I'm just happy for you. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Ah, there's the merchant down there. Marvelous. Are, are we going to, we should start, your holiness. Oh, I'm so nervous. It'll just be a regular ceremony. No, I'm talking about my brother. I o Only now do I see how much I have missed him. Oh, you're actually redeemable. That's kind of sweet. Dear flock, we are here to pray for water for the town. Yes, and also to pray for our families. Only family can help us survive this cruel world, even the most deadly drought. So let us forget our uh, your old fights and forgive each other. 
and pray for water. Oh yeah, sure, and pray for water. What a good speech, really. I need to apologise to my mum. Uh, well, you should do that anyway. It's going to be coming down in buckets. Uh... Brother, yes, brother. Oh, that that's actually quite heartwarming. That's actually very heartwarming. I'm so happy for you. No, I'm the one who's happy. I'm so happy. Look what we've achieved. Our parents would be so proud. Okay, guys, I should probably leave you alone. Thank you. Thank you so much. You truly are a great help. Do you still need my mirror? Uh, yes, actually. Very well. Take it. You can have my fork as well. Thank you. Come, we have so much to discuss. Sure, let me tell you about my journey. Uh, better we discuss our future. Uh, yeah, okay. Not looking to the past. Though I'm I'm a big believer that, you know, to know where you're going, you got to know where you came from. But yeah, sure, okay. I see where you're going. Can I... Ah. Uh, I wonder if I had done that prayer normally, if that would have all messed up. And I would have had to wait another week. That would have drove me mad. I'm glad I checked. Ah, no. I wanted to sell you something. Ah, fine. Whatever. Fine. If we must, I will leave the prayer for donations there. But we have two more of the pieces. What are we waiting on now, then? Um, we've got the burning coal. We've got the endless notebook. We also have the mirror of the fork. The golden angle. And something else. I will have to double check. But it seems that we have made a reasonable amount of progress today. Not too bad. Not only have we prayed for water, we have also prayed for family and reunited to... Well, I don't even know what they were they, they were fighting over, but it seems that uh, we've actually given the, the merchant an opportunity to think about, about the choices that he has made in his life. And honestly, that's quite heartwarming. I've got to be... I, yeah, I wasn't expecting that to come from this, but uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next, where we are possibly going to be speaking with the Ms. Charm and finding out a little bit more about her backstory. That's right, we're going to have to get the golden angle, I think, from the astrologer, and that will come after helping him with Ms. Charm, perhaps. I'm not sure if we can force that issue, but we'll certainly put in a good word for him. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, and as always, do leave a like if you like, and sub if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time. Take care, everyone.